What's up, everybody? I am DK, DKBangers.com. Welcome to another joint. Today's video, as you can see by the title, is how to sample from your sound bed, your sound card. How to sample from inside your computer without dropping audio into your DAW or MPC 2.1 in particular. So I get the question sometimes, how do I sample from per se iTunes or a movie that I'm watching or you might be on YouTube and you come across this dope piano riff or, you know, something dope and you want to you want to sample directly into your MPC 2.0 software, 2.1 software. Well, I have that for you today. So we're going to go over here to Google and you Google Soundflower. I don't know why Soundflower bed came up, but you Google Soundflower for Mac, Soundflower Mac. And the first thing that pops up is Soundflower for Mac. Now you'll click it and uh, save download, you'll do that. And that's pretty much how you get it. Now, here it's, it's showing you the pros and the cons. It allows different applications to access sound card at the same time supports 2 and 16 channel audio that's the pros the cons are sound may have interference at first i haven't experienced that configuration may be tricky at first yes configuration is very tricky but this video is not about the configuration of of this i'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you're pretty savvy on how to, you know, install software on your program. If you guys want to see how to do a full installation of this program, just hit, hit me up in the comment section and I'll do that. But it's pretty simple, you know what I mean? It's like installing any other program on your computer. So, with that said, you'd want to have that installed, and in order to hear what's going on on the computer, you, you'd want to, after you set it up, it will become a multi-output device, and you choose that, and in your input, you choose Soundflower. Now, it has to be Soundflower in order for this to work, okay? So, you know, simple, you got that hooked up. You would then go to, uh, not the looper, right here. You go to sample the sampler inside of MPC, the MPC software. Now. I haven't tried this in Studio One. I mean, I don't have the, I never have the use of doing it in Studio One, but I'm sure you can, it's something similar in there. But nonetheless, you'd arm the track, you'd set up how much minutes and seconds you want to sample, and then you'd hit, uh, sample record and it should record the sample let's test it out so a lot of you guys ask me sometime where do I get samples from this site this channel on YouTube is not a hidden channel <laughs> I go here sometimes out of one of many uh, channels that I go to to find samples or you know I might come across something as I'm doing my digital digging 
All right. Some people like the crate dig. They get their vinyls from, you know, actual physical records. Sometimes we get our records from uh, <laughs> YouTube. So this is a uh, something I was listening to from Vinyl Frontier. Dope channel. There it is. If you want to get some samples, you got them right here. So I'm going to press play. Now it's playing. Go back here. And I'm going to arm the track. The track is armed. So now I'm going to press play. And as you can see, so there we go. And that's, you know, the sample, the other the, the other way that I like to sample sometimes is that when you're actually here inside of, you know, wherever you're at on YouTube, this only works on YouTube because you can use the, the, uh, the numerical pad on your keyboard and jump from particular places on the video. So what I like to do is I'll let it play. Sometimes I don't even let it play. I just, you know, hit. So say I like that and I'm like, all right, that sound dope. I go back to the MPC. I arm the track. And I'll go back here and I'll be like, all right, let me see. go back into the NPC and there you go we got all this noise I'm gonna name this first because I know I, I'm gonna use some of those shops for say the verse you know what I mean so we'll keep that and you like yo I, I want a hook I need I need something for the chorus or the intro or something you go back simply and you find something that you want to be the hook. Man, that was good. I should have caught that too. So I'd, I'd name this hook. Because I know I'm going to go inside of here and look for the hook of some sort. Alright, so jump into the, the sample edit and you come in here and you find what you're looking for. The good thing about uh, this version of the MPC software is that it automatically detects the BPM. In a previous video, I said that I wish that it automatically uh, detects the root note of said sample. The same way it, it detects the BPM, 
it would be useful if it detected the root note as well. So, you know, if anyone from Akai is listening, the Akai gods, I keep putting this in the air. Hopefully, in an update soon, uh, we'll have that feature. So, once you have your sample inside of your sampler, in this case, the MPC 2.0 software, you would then proceed to skim through what well, you already know. Like, for instance, with the verse, I already know what I want from this. Right? I'll just go ahead. So I kind of know that I want it in here. Some of the some of those chops are sloppy, because again, I was doing it off the whim of just doing it. So I can just uh, chop it from here, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna extract this and I'm gonna go here. Now this is saying 20 BPM. All right, so then. I got that, it tells me it's 91 BPM. I can manually chop, because I, I know where I want my chops, but I'm gonna see what it's gonna do. Well, those are some good chops, not bad. I'm still getting some of that. In the so we convert that to a new program. Add parameters. And we got something to work with. So the next thing. All right, so now we got that. We know that's kind of like the hook, the chorus. That can actually even be a verse. I'm not quite sure yet. You never know until you know, you know what I mean? So, all right, that's actually cool. <laughs> so we go ahead and do the same thing, put that to a, a, a new program. And that's pretty much it, man. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna work on this track cause it sound kind of funky. I was just doing this for the purposes of showing you guys how to sample from you know youtube or you could you could do the same process with itunes i no longer have itunes on my computer because i need space for my own music so i can't show you guys that uh but any source that's any sounds that's actually coming from the computer itself in, internally, you can then sample inside of this MPC 2.0 software. So if you don't have an MPC Live or an X or a Studio, or you, you just purchase the software, because I think you could purchase the software by itself now, you're able to have a sampler on your, uh, on your computer. All right, so that's pretty much what I wanted to showcase for you guys. I am BK, BKBangers.com. Thank you guys so much for your time and for checking me out. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. What you guys waiting for? Be sure to hit that, that comment section. Let me know what's your thoughts. If you like this kind of uh, video, uh, and there is more to come again sample school sundays will be returning soon i see all you guys out there that's uh being carbon copies um salute to y'all i'm glad i was able to be some sort of inspiration for you but uh don't be duplicates man you know what i mean no ideas original under the sun but um it's kind of obvious sometimes it, it comes off as flattery and um i'm gonna just leave it as that it's flattering so again 
do remember that music is life. It is our DNA, y'all. Keep banging. Peace, love, and light. Till next time.